everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Finally, the day has come. Here we have it. This is Gabriel Scratched. By the way, okay, first of all, Gabriel, the fragrance. This is going to be the unboxing of this perfume. Um, I'm going to go into, you know, details about the bottle, how it looks like, the packaging. Do we like it? Do we not like it? And then I'm going to move on to other videos with first impressions. And then the other video, again, will go is going to be a full review after I've experimented and tested and lived with it for a couple of days. So let's get to it. Um, first and foremost, look at that. Chanel has not been doing a good job with these bags. This is a lacquered writing. And it chips off very easily. Hmm. Okay. Uh... This has been a gift, so I'm very much grateful. You know who you are. Thank you very much. And you know what? I don't even need to open this completely. Let's just get the bottle out of here. Okay. All right. Sc scratched bag out of the way. Here we have it. Um, as of now, Gabriel is only available as a hundred milliliter Eau de Parfum spray um, in September when the official worldwide release will happen you will be able to purchase it also in a 50 ml version they're probably gonna come out with a 35 ml version along the road as well and if sales go very well they're probably gonna do an Eau de Parfum, an Eau de Toilette and all that jazz um, it's a champagne gold type of packaging as you could see oh look at that there it's the name so, this is a very fun way of opening these um, bottles or boxes. I just slide these ribbons off. I don't pull them. There you have it. Let's put the little camellia over there. Look at all those dramatic shadows. Perfect. This is very Bob Ross of me. <laughs> you could paint a landscape with a Gabrielle perfume. Okay, guys. So, here we go. Um... What can I say about this for now? The font is, you know, typical Chanel font. We're very much used to it. And um, look at that. There you have it appearing. The Eau de Parfum Natural Spray 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces. Everything is so elegantly placed. You have to really play with light in order to see this inscriptions here on the packaging we have all of the ingredients listed there and we have the denominator in French vaporisateur spray and you know all those other languages At the bottom we have our barcode we have uh, the typical so famous for Chanel inscription that this product can only be sold by authorized Chanel dealers we know all that now where is my Okay, the Chanel logo on the top here. And we should have, uh, oh, there it is. Made in France, as all Chanel perfumes are. Copyright Gabriel. Okay, so, um, oh, batch code number. That's also important. Where are we with the batch code number? 1702. Okay. I'm already not liking the flimsiness inside. Let's see. This is how I open them. Push just a little bit from the bottom. Okay, here we go. Another thing to put on the side for our Bob Ross landscape, <laughs> Chanel landscape. Now already we, what do we see here? This is the same type of packaging that we have already seen for um, number five, Lo. And I'm going to show it to you in a second. Here it is. Number five low was a bit more elegant because it had a cover on top as well. And then you open this. 
And again, the same trick I use. We open it like that. Haha. -ha. Interesting to have a full collection of all of those bottles just like that. Beautiful. Okay, let's take number five out and let's open it up. Okay, there she is, our little Gabrielle baby, born at last. Okay. Interesting. I'm looking at it for the first time, like, untouched from the box. Um, what do I think of it, though? Okay, so somewhere, uh, Olivier Polge said in an interview or something similar that um, this is a revolutionary bottle, that it's the first Chanel bottle that has a straight bottom that doesn't have like a little kind of swingy thing. Um, maybe I can show you here. We have the Lo. Look at that wave. You see that curve over there? This one doesn't have it. I mean, it still kind of does a little bit, but not as much as the other ones. I get where they're going for. They're going for the purity of lines. But you see, here we have those curves. It's it's not a straight, you know, bottle, to be perfectly honest with you. And then we have these crossing sections, which remind us so much of L'Homme Ideal by Guerlain. Um, and the bottle does go inwards, like it's squished in there. So all of these angles you see, they kind of drive in. So if we were to drop a drop of um, mercury metal, <laughs> it would literally just like slip into the center and it would kind of start turning there. So there you have it. I mean, don't mind the lighting. I mean, I made like pretty light for this thing. It's reflecting light and it's very much like a gem and you go, ooh, but don't get fooled. This bottle is not the best bottle Chanel ever made. Let's just be honest about this, guys. This is a sticker. Also champagne color. Depending, you see how it reflects the light. You might think it's white, but it's not. It also has that champagne type of tone to it. The bottom of the bottle, and this is a big difference to all other Chanel fragrances, the bottom does not bear any inscriptions. Except for my fingerprints. <laughs> Let me take those off. Okay. There you have it. There's nothing there. We have our batch code over there the 1702 again, and where are the inscriptions? They are nowhere to be found, except when you flip it, all we have to prove to us, kind of, that this bottle is an authentic Chanel, other than, of course, the quality of the glass, which is super, super thin. I think if this bottle were to fall, uh, you're, it's going to break in a billion pieces and you're going to have Gabrielle all over the place. Unlike the sturdy, let's show it again, you know, Chanel Lo, this one, this one actually fell once and nothing happened to it. It's very thick glass and it's also heavier um, than this one. Um, so I'm not so sure. I mean, I like that they didn't put anything on the glass anywhere, but all we have is the sticker to prove anything. Okay, now as far as the stopper is concerned or the little lid or the little top or the topper. I am not liking this very much. Let's see. It's a metal. Okay. Does it want to even open? Okay, here it goes. So it's one piece. It's it's heavy. I mean, it's obviously metal. And there is, this is going to be very difficult to show you guys, inside there, impossible to see, there is a, a Chanel logo in black at the bottom of the lid. Huh. Very hard to see. Impossible to see. Oh well. But it's there. I see it here with my bare eye. But it's very deep in there. So let me just see if I can put... I can feel it. 
you can hear, and let me bring it closer to the mic, you can hear the double C. When you pass over it with a nail, it's a kind of like a three-dimensional thing. Uh, then we have the double C on the top of the lid. I mean, it is reminiscent of, of Chanel. Let's take the number five lid. Yeah. This is like, you know, the, the beginning of this. So I get what they're going for. Like, this is kind of the younger version of Chanel. So it's a Gabrielle fragrance when she was younger, when she was kind of about to morph and transform into this complicated and complex, beautiful, uh, almost like cabochon stone, but out of glass. They used to make them out of crystal for the pure parfums. They still do for their giant bottles. And this was kind of the before, and this is the after. Um, the before doesn't look like it's very promising, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not liking this one piece. It looks very cheap to me but okay let's put this little thing there and let's get back to the bottle okay the bottle as I said the sticker you know it's a very delicate sticker I mean typical for Chanel except for the first time we see not white not black but we have we have a champagne kind of texture going on there the sprayer I'm not going to spray it in this video because first impressions I'm going to do in the other video that's also coming up. So you can actually now, uh, if you want, you can click in the description box down below. But also I will place it at the end of this video, a direct link to my first impressions video of this fragrance. And as my review video uh, becomes available, as I finish it and upload it to YouTube, I will also post in the description box or I will add in the description box the link to that video as well as placing it at the end of the video for you to follow the link if you want to see the review. But for now, let's just say, let's put this here. So these are all the components. I'm missing this piece as well. These are all the components of uh, Gabrielle. That's the unboxing. Um, overall, I would say it doesn't impress me much. Um, it's elegant. I can see the poised elements to it for sure. Uh, I can definitely understand how, you know, the brand Chanel would try to do everything in order to kind of sell this to us as a very elegant um, depiction of what Gabrielle, what a Gabrielle fragrance would be while keeping in mind, you know, the past of, of Coco Chanel and before she became you know, Mademoiselle Chanel. But at the same time, let's not forget that Gabrielle had a lot of energy, fire in her. She she wanted to prove to the world that she can make it on her own, um, that she had a lot of talent, that she could change the way we perceived fashion, that she could make comfort be extremely elegant at the same time as comfortable, um, she defied a lot of notions of what luxury means, of what um, the quality of materials means. And as of now, within the bottle, I see really none of that fire and spark. Um, and even the bottle itself is not as simple as, you know, Gabrielle I envision would be simple. Because, you know, of all of these kind of extra added details and the fact that it's kind of dented inwards, you know, it's all like super subtle. It's meant to like look like a regular kind of square or rectangle. But then when you start looking into it, there's so many more details than you thought were there. And and that's exactly what, I don't know, it's, a, I, I find it a bit arrogant, to be honest with you. It should have been simplified. It should have been way, way simpler and just more to the point, I guess. I don't know. Because this, again, is trying to, to promise us so much and the bubbly champagne aspect of the colorway is something that also makes me feel like, ooh, this this liquid is going to be effervescent in a way, you know? It's going to make me want... This juice is going to make me want to respray it over and over and over again. So, I mean, hopefully it will. So let's get to uh, to the... <laughs> everything's falling apart here let's get to the uh first impression sniffing review guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this uh, review the review well the review of the packaging and the unboxing if you have please do thumb it up 
Um, if you haven't already but do wish to, please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So guys, no matter how the juice in here smells, and as I'm filming now, we still don't know how it smells, in the future we will. Despite the smell and the odors, we never give up on love. Love you guys, see you soon, take care, bye!